こんにちは。Welcome to Learn Japanese with Masa 先生。This is episode 100. Today in this episode, we will learn about how to use passive forms. Now let's go. In my previous episode, we went through how to make passive form. Now let's review. For group one, kakimas to write, it becomes kakaremas. Yomimas to read becomes yomaremas. Hakobimas to carry becomes hakobaremas. Torimas to take becomes toraremas. Tachimas to stand becomes tataremas. Tsukaimas to use becomes tsukawaremas. Kowashimas to break becomes kowasaremas. Now let's go to group two. Tabemas to eat becomes taberaremas. Tatemas to build becomes tateraremas. Kaemas to change becomes kaeraremas. Mimas to see, to watch, to look becomes miraremas. Now, finally, let's go to group three. Kimas becomes koraremas. And shimas becomes saremas. When you express about a part of a human body, the subject of the passive sentence is watashi. So, for example, Kare wa watashi no ashi o fumimashita. Kare wa watashi no ashi o fumimashita. He stepped on my foot. We will make this into passive form. So it becomes My foot was stepped on. On by him. In this case, the subject of the passive sentence is not watashi no ashi, my foot, but it is watashi. Fumimas to step on, passive form is fumaremas, fumaremas. So it becomes like this Watashi wa kare ni ashi o fumaremashita. 私は彼に足を踏まれました。So the subject is 私 The particle is は And then the doer of the action plus に And then the part of human body plus を And then passive verb 私は彼に足を踏まれました。Let's look at another one. The door pinched my hand. To pinch is hasamimas, hasamimas. So it becomes doa wa watashi no te o hasamimashita. Doa wa watashi no te o hasamimashita. Now we will make this into a passive sentence. Hasamimas. Passive form is hasamaremas. So it becomes, Watashi wa doa ni te o hasamare mashita. Watashi wa doa ni te o hasamare mashita. So this means, my hand was caught in the door. Now let's look at another one. My dad hit my younger brother's head. To hit is, tatakimas. So it becomes, お父さんは弟の頭を叩きました。お父さんは弟の頭を叩きました。Now we will make this into a passive sentence. My brother was hit by my father. So the subject is 弟 It becomes 弟はお父さんに頭を叩かれました。弟はお父さんに頭を叩かれました。Besides the part of human body, 
for example, feet, hands, head, etc. The same thing goes with personal possessions, such as my watch, my wallet, etc. So, for example, my child broke the camera. This is, 子供は私のカメラを壊しました。子供は私のカメラを壊しました。Now we will make this into a passive sentence. My camera was broken by my child. So, 壊します。Passive form is, 壊されます。壊されます。So it becomes, 私は子供にカメラを壊されました。私は子供にカメラを壊されました。The thief stole my wallet.Thief is 泥棒。泥棒。My wallet is 私の財布。私の財布。To steal is 盗みます。盗みます。So, 泥棒は私の財布を盗みました。泥棒は私の財布を盗みました。Now we will make this into a passive sentence.My wallet was stolen by the thief. 盗みます。Passive form is 盗まれます。So it becomes 私は泥棒に財布を盗まれました。私は泥棒に財布を盗まれました。The dog brought my shoes with him. Shoes is 靴,靴 To bring something and go somewhere else is 持って行きます。持って行きます。So, 犬は靴を持って行きました。犬は靴を持って行きました。Now we will make this into a passive sentence. I had my dog bring my shoes. 持って行きます。passive form is 持って行かれます。So it becomes 私は犬に靴を持って行かれました。私は犬に靴を持って行かれました。If you want to make a question sentence, you will simply use 誰。So for example, who stepped on your foot? It becomes 誰に足を踏まれましたか誰に足を踏まれましたか ?So after the doer of the action, the particle is に.Another example, who has stolen the wallet?So it becomes 誰に財布を盗まれましたか誰に財布を盗まれましたか We can make all the verbs into passive form. However, there's one exception, which is あげます to give. So there is no passive form for あげます Instead, もらいます to receive is used. So for example, 田中さんは鈴木さんに本をあげました。田中さんは鈴木さんに本をあげました。田中さん gave a book to 鈴木さん。There is no passive form for あげます。So it becomes 鈴木さんは田中さんに本をもらいました。鈴木さんは田中さんに本をもらいました。So the translation will be 鈴木さん received a book from 田中さん。So today we learned about passive sentence of Part of a human body or personal possessions. The structure will be subject は doer of the action に part of human body を passive form or subject は doer of the action に personal possessions を passive form. So, this is all for today. I hope it was helpful for you. If you are interested in Japanese grammar, please check out my YouTube channel. The link is in the description box. 
I also have Facebook page and Instagram page, so please follow them as well. I will see you in the next episode. ありがとうございました。バイバイ。